The Northern Crops Institute in Fargo hosts many groups, but they had to pause that during COVID. NCI recently hosted its first international delegation since the pandemic began. The attendees came from an array of Asian countries to learn more about the region's soybean industry. Well, we are extremely excited to be back uh, giving the uh, in-person programs. Uh, there's nothing like being able to be face-to-face -face in person with, with these customers. Brian Sorensen is the program manager for the Northern Crops Institute. This week, they're hosting soybean buyers from six Asian countries. They'll learn about the region's soybean industry at the five-day food-grade soybean procurement course. So this one, we're going to have this one under this. The Midwest produces a high volumes of soybeans. It's very productive. And there's a surplus in this area when you think about it. You know, we grow more than they consume with, with the animal feed markets or human food markets. So we need to find customers for them internationally to help buy those extra soybeans, whether it's for human foods or animal feed or use in aquaculture. Alan Polk is the Asian Division Director for the World Initiative for Soy and Human Health, or WISH. Polk believes that the Midwest soybean industry is a valuable resource for Asian countries and the group is thankful to be back in the region. So we are really excited to learn about the full grade soybean and the soybean production. Pew also works with WISH and the American Soybean Association. Thanks for watching AgWeek TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.